Hello, this is Pete, K4QHR, from Kingsland, Georgia. I've been asked to do a demonstration on the front panel programmable feature of the Motorola XPR7550. This is third-party software, and you do have to use the option board built into the radio to use this feature. In order to use it, you want to create a zone just for FPP with three channels. We'll go to that zone. Now we're in the FPP with three channels. Channel one is analog. Channel two would be DMR simplex. And channel three is DMR repeater. Like I said, you do need to create this in the FP in the software, the CPS. If you notice, we have a, an FPP zone that we created with the three channels. Channel one is analog. Two is digital. Channel three is digital. When you go into the CPS and create your channels, you want to select the channel one being analog, you want to choose your 25 kilohertz bandwidth and select your option board. You want to scroll down. If you notice the receive PL, just carry a squelch. At this time you can only use transmit PL. You cannot use DPL or receive PL. I hear there may be a future firmware release that will allow you to use DPL, but as of right now, all you have is transmit PL. You want to make sure you select, because this does carry over to FPP, your admit criteria, power level, your timeout timer. Select it all like you normally would. Same goes for, for digital. If you go to the repeater, same way. The color code and time slot doesn't matter because we can actually change that. But you do want to have the option board selected in CPS as well as your color code free admit criteria, timeout timers, etc. So you do have to make that first with the CPS before it'll work with the radio. And again, you want to make sure on all three channels you have that option board checked on those three channels for it to work. Do a quick demo on the radio or on channel one analog to program it. You would hit menu, go to utilities, the XCMP device, go down to VFO, select edit, password, one, two, three, four. Receive frequency of 444-200. Transmit 449-200. With a transmit PO, 127.3. Now you have an analog repeater in here. This is a virtual FPP, which means if I was to power cycle the radio or change the channel away from here, this goes away. You have to re enter all the information. One thing you can do, if you so desire, once you have everything, all the parameters set in here the way you would like, you go back in the menu, utilities, XCMP. VFO, click save. Now this channel is saved into the option board memory for channel 1. Now if you change the channel of power cycle it's still going to erase but I will show you when you go back in you just do it the same way but you can select load. Utilities 
XCMP device, VFO, load, and it's back in there. Same thing will work with channel 2 for DMR simplex and it'll work for channel 3 with DMR repeater. I'll show you with DMR programming. Go to menu, utilities, XMP, VFO, edit. One, two, three, four. Four, two, four, two, five. That is the Jacksonville Beach DMR repeater. Transmit four, four, seven, four, two, five. Color code. We'll leave a color code one. Choose time slot two. Talk group two for First Coast DMR talk group. Now we are on there. I don't believe I can hit it in the room here. No, I can. So it does work in the room. Okay, so I can do the same here. You go to utilities, XMP, VFO, save. So now I have a channel saved in channel 1, which is an analog local repeater, and channel 3, a DMR local repeater. One nice thing about having this option board in here, one other feature you have, uh, there's really no activity on here, it's kind of hard to show you. It does have a feature on here that will display the on you know on the 442 425 with the color code one of slot two if somebody is on this repeater with color code one of slot two it, and they key up it will display their radio ID and the talk group they're on so even though we're on talk group two if they were to key up on say Georgia statewide 3113 it'll show their ID with 3113 so no matter what talk group they're using on slot two we will hear it so if you go somewhere, one nice thing about this FPP, if you go on vacation or you you know you do go somewhere and you don't have this DMR repeater or an analog repeater, you can program it in there on the fly and save it um, to the option board, and then you can find talk groups per se if you you know if you go somewhere and you don't know what talk groups they're using on that repeater but you do know the you know the color code you can set that in there and just watch and as they key up you'll see the talk groups that are actually active on the repeater well there you have it uh, to buy this you have to go with, through Ken Bryant K1 DMR at North Georgia Communications. Go to twowaydigitalradio.com or you can go to ngacoms.com. Here's Ken's phone number, the address of the, the shop he's at. I do not recall the price. I bought this as a package. When I bought the radio, you'll have to contact him for pricing. But again, that is Ken Bryant, K1DMR, twowaydigitalradio.com. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can either contact Ken or myself, Pete, K4QHR, at k4qhr at tds.net. Thank you.